What up? Today is a vinyl day, uh, which is exciting for two reasons. Because one, I'm going to talk to you about my little Christmas wish list of what I want this year. But more exciting for you, I'm sure, is the fact that uh, somehow we are already at 1,000 subscribers on this channel. So it's time for the uh, the old page backstage is dead and all I got was this 1K giveaway. Giveaway. I have a bunch of vinyl I've been saving up for a while and it's time for you guys to get your hands on it. I will show you the things very quickly so we can get into the video without an insanely long intro. I know I'm guilty of that a lot. First off, we have my patch and like all the pins I've ever made except for the skull rock and roll hands because there's only like five left but I've got like the piano that was so underappreciated I thought it was funny um, I've got my five sauce pins here and a Halsey pin and a little vinyl variant so those are gonna be one prize and then in terms of vinyl each of these will go to a different person there'll be a bunch of prizes because I just like giving lots of things to lots of people it makes me feel good um, we have Imagine Dragons Night Visions picture disc I have been holding on to that for a long time. Um, we have not one, but two different pressings of like Pacific's new album, In Spite of Me, and so those will go to two different people. We have a copy of Can't Swim's new album. I can't remember the exact pressing, but I'll put it on the giveaway page. I have Halsey's Hopeless Fountain Kingdom, It's Upside Down, and a signed poster, and this was the Clear and Teal pressing. The one that everybody asks me about, like at gunpoint essentially, um, the first pressing of Water Park's Double Dare. This was the transparent purple with pink and blue splatter. Um, I ordered two copies when it went out. I think there was only a hundred pressed. So somebody's gonna finally get this. I've been hanging on to it for too long. It is time for somebody else to finally give it a home. The way to enter is super easy. If you just go to the description box, there's gonna be a link that says like enter here. You click on that, there'll be a bunch of options. You can pick one, you can pick all. It'll give you more entries the more that you do. And then, um, Next Friday, I'm gonna pick the winners. So the Saturday after that, when I post my video, I will announce it there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want some vinyl, enter, it'll be fun. I'm very excited. Thank you for getting me back to 1K. We are on the road to bringing back the Jonas Brothers. And now I think it's time to take a little look at my Christmas vinyl wish list. Santa, I have been so good this year. I know that you see me when I'm sleeping and when I'm awake and when I'm plotting to burn down the Sound Academy, but what's really important here is that I haven't done it yet. Yet. But this is the thing. This year, I have put up with a lot of crap from a lot of people. And through that, I have still been good. And that is why I think you should bring all of these records and put them under my tree. Because this is the thing. You could do what's easy, or you could do what's right. And I think we know what's right here. So here's my list. You can check it twice. I know I have. And uh, if you're also watching this, everybody who isn't Santa, uh, maybe you put these on your list and maybe I can strong arm Santa into bringing them for you too. So the first pressing on my list is so vital to me. It is this rainbow splatter pressing of Trash Boat's Nothing I Write You Can Change What You've Been Through. And oh my God, I have thought about this pressing every single day of my goddamn stupid life ever since the first day I saw it. I look it up on Discogs just to see if it's there, and I look at pictures of it on Instagram just because I like to see it, and I look it up on Google. I don't know what I'm looking for, I just wanna know it's in the world, I guess. But I found it, okay, so there's like a big distributor that I order my records from for my store, and I found it there. And I was like, what if this is the wrong pressing and I order it, and I order a bunch, and then it's like standard black. That's gonna be really disappointing. So I ordered one, and it was the right pressing. And I was like, oh my God. And I posted being like, if nobody buys this in the next 30 seconds, I'm buying it from the store for myself. And wouldn't you know it, somebody bought it in literally 30 seconds. So uh, I ordered a bunch more just last week because I was like, you know what? I still need that and so do other people. So I ordered a bunch and hopefully they arrive soon. So guess what, Santa? Uh, knocked one off your list for you. I'm doing that one for myself. I know that's not how a small business is supposed to work. I am supposed to let other people buy the items from the store. However, I also want them. So that's the first one. 
The next one on the list is another one that you don't have to worry about, Santa. I'm making your life so easy. You should really just be thanking me. Um, it is the yellow Urban Outfitters exclusive pressing of the new 1975 album. And I know I'm getting this one because my mom and I were at the mall and she said, I don't know what to get you for Christmas. And I said, follow me. And we went into Urban Outfitters and I said that. And she said, okay. And then she bought it in front of me. So I'll act surprised, but like, the next one on my list is another Urban Outfitters exclusive because they have like all the good exclusives, I guess, um, besides Merch Now, who also has a lot of my money this year. But uh, eventually I would like Camp and Lost to have some cool exclusives, but like slow your old page, um, you're not there yet. Someday, call this video back to be like, oh, you did it. Um, or call this video back to be like, ha, you loser, you never did it. Uh, but Billie Eilish's Don't Smile At Me uh, on red vinyl. Would be beautiful. I love that. Love that for her. Love that for me. Um, big fan of that EP. Big fan of Billie Eilish in general. I think she's super talented, especially for somebody so young, and it makes me feel inferior, and I love to stay humble. Next on my list is more Urban Outfitters exclusives because I don't know why everybody's giving them all the good exclusives. Like, there's gotta be somebody else. Why are all of these from Urban Outfitters? Um, but it's like the entire Sync vinyl collection. Um, I myself always chose NSYNC over the Backstreet Boys and I feel like all the rebellious girls did. That's just how it was because they were bad boys. And I would love to be able to revisit that time of my life on vinyl. You know, it's like bringing my youth to my current self, mixing the two, shaking it up, see what happens. Um, but yeah, No Strings Attached and Celebrity on Vinyl would be so sick. But they also have a Christmas album and they also have like all the albums. And so I want all the albums. Also Space Jam, that's it. That's like unrelated, but I saw that on there too and was like, um, yes. Sometimes do you feel like you watch Drew Monson's videos and then you start to kind of become Drew Monson and you, I'm not, I almost went off on a Drew tangent. I'm gonna, gonna reel that one back in. Next on my list is the last Urban Outfitters exclusive that I will mention, but it is 88 Rising's Head in the Clouds. It's on this like beautiful blue. Um, I don't know how to describe the blue. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm not very good at doing reviews or descriptions of most anything, um, but it's really beautiful. And also I just really love like the entire 88 Rising roster. So to support everybody all in one go is great. However, this record is like 40 or $45 Canadian. Um, which seems excessive, especially for mostly, but like very new artists. That's neither here nor there. Next is one that I do not think anybody will be shocked by. I'll actually give you a minute if you want to yell it at your screen. Go ahead, I'll wait. Mm hmm It is the Mains Forever Halloween. I would probably kill somebody for this record for under $500. Sorry, no wait. I should clarify it. I do not mean if you pay me under $500, I'll kill a man. I mean, if I could get the record for under $500, I would kill a man. That doesn't sound much better, hang on. <laughs> Anyways, I would just really like to have Forever Halloween on vinyl. It's one of my favorite albums and I want to have all of the mains records at some point. I'm falling behind a bit, though I am gonna make a video about my records that are now worth the most and three different pressings of American Candy are on that list. It's very embarrassing. Anyways, I would like that now. Hey, the main, have any extra copies lying around? Hit me up, I'll buy them, I'll buy them all. Actually, they were listed on the distribution site for my, for my web store and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be the bitch that sells all the main's old records. And I ordered them in like June <laughs> and it never fulfilled the order. <laughs> I thought I was about to break the system. No. Next, Billy Talent's self-titled album. I have it on standard black vinyl, but there is a 10th anniversary pressing from a few years ago that is red and yellow smash and I am in love with it. And I look at it on Discogs like all the time and it's so expensive and I just want to it. When I actually bought this one, the standard black pressing, I thought I like scammed the system and found it at HMV. Uh, I really don't know why I thought that was happening. 
Billy Talent is one of my all-time favorite bands. Like, I've been listening to them since I was nine. That's most of my life. Um, and somehow, I only have this one pressing of one album, and that's all the vinyl I own from them. I just feel like they didn't really press much. And then even when they do, it's just like one standard black pressing. There's nothing really to collect. And we all know how I feel about that. So hey, Billy Talent, if you guys want to make a bunch of pressings, you will make all of your money back just based on me. So something to keep in mind. Now that I'm thinking about the main, I would also like to say imaginary numbers. If I could find that, that would be beautiful. Um, if that happened to just, I don't know, pop up in the 8123 shop at 8123 Best, I wouldn't complain. The next one has been on my list forever, and every time I say it, everybody goes, Paige, why are you complaining about this? You could literally buy it all over Discogs, why don't you? Um, it's Ryan Adams and the Cardinals, Cardinology, one of my all-time favorite albums that I actually found through Garrett from the main because he has the logo tattooed on his arm, and I was like, what is that? And then I found this album, and um, my life changed, and it was fine. Fantastic album, however, Whenever I look it up online, I hear stories about how like, oh, this color pressing didn't get pressed properly, so don't buy that one. This color pressing was okay, but this color pressing was from Europe, and this one this, and this one that. And just the stress of it all, I can't handle it. And also, I've never ordered off of Discogs before, and it makes me kind of nervous. Um, so yeah. Eventually, I would like to get my shit together to a point where I can actually purchase one and feel confident in my decision and then actually hear this album on vinyl as I believe God intended. Um, Ryan Adams was not meant to be heard in any other way, I don't think. Just, I mean, maybe personal opinion, but like, I'm definitely right, so. I actually like needed inspiration for this list, so I just went to my pal Pretty Vinyl on Instagram and just kind of like looked through all the pressings he'd been posting. Um, there is a citizen pressing of As You Please and it's like red with black and white splatter and I always see it and go, ooh, I need that, and then forget. And I ordered it for my store, and that never came either, because I guess it was already sold out by the time I ordered it. And they just don't update the site enough. But I need to find that pressing. It's so beautiful. I think it's the indie exclusive. Ugh, it makes me drool. It is a beautiful pressing, and it is such a good album. Um, definitely one I would like in my collection. So Santa, if you know where to get that, um, pop one for me, thanks. And the final pressing on my list is one that I will definitely go out and find for myself unless Santa, you beat me to the punch, which is totally cool because you don't have to pay shipping charges and you don't have to worry about parking at the mall during Christmas when everybody's at the mall. I would really like Bearings Blue in the Dark, please and thank you. Um, great album, great band. I was at work the other day and my boss was like, oh, let's put music on the TV for like background noise. And what do you know, the hits playlist started playing bearings and like my heart stopped and I started filming the TV and she was like, I don't know what you're doing or why. And you know, as somebody who just does those things without actually thinking about it, I wasn't quite sure how to explain my actions. But anyway, she was like, you can't even hear the song. I was like, oh no, the point was not to hear it. The point was just to show how proud I, I don't really know what I was doing. So anyway, I feel like maybe a better way to show my appreciation for that album would be to own it instead of like weirdly taking pictures of TV screens at work. So, bearings, you're on my list. Welcome to your tape. Um, sorry. <laughs> so yeah. So that's my list for this year. Thanks for watching. I hope that maybe you got some inspiration for your own list or um, maybe you just judged my choices. Either way, totally fine. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, why not? If you wanna win some vinyl, don't forget to click that link below and enter to win yourself some vinyl or some pins or patches or like whatever else. Maybe we'll do a t-shirt. I'm gonna throw in a t-shirt. Who wants a t-shirt? Maybe one of these records is on your Christmas wish list. Maybe you think a friend would like it. In any case, let me be your personal Santa and send you these records. Enter the giveaway. So, vinyl for you, vinyl for me, everybody's happy. I'll see you guys again next week. Mwah. See you later. Bye. I should not film in the middle of the night anymore. I'm clearly losing it. <laughs>